I am so, so excited to share me getting ready with one of my favorite queens, Trixie Mattel. Oh, and Katia. <laughs> but um, Trixie and Katia sent me this beautiful, amazing um, package. And I'm so excited to open it and show how I get ready with it. But the thing that I'm most excited about is I have been waiting for my Trixie mirror for a very long time. And now I have it. But look at this packaging. I just want to show this. How amazing. I've already used my Wild Rose Beauty to cleanse my skin. You can see it's nice and glowy. I add an extra layer of glow because I use this as my primer under my makeup so that I really have that skin that looks like butter. So we will prime the skin with our Wild Rose Beauty Glow because like I say, if I don't look wet, then I don't want to look at all. <laughs> Meaning I like to look like I just walked out of the spa. Like I want to look like I got a hydrofacial at all times. I think I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Pro Glow today. It has a lot of coverage, but it's still really glowy. It's not matte, so it works really well with dry skin, um, especially when I'm going to be on camera. This is amazing because it helps cover up my, um, my skin irritation and my melasma. This is not glamorous at all, but this works with the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I just put it on my fingers and I literally just start painting on my war paint. But we kind of are, we're going to glam war, you know? For some reason, this formula, I don't do this with all foundations, just this, this formula specifically, I learned this from my makeup artist, Danielle. Um, this formula has to be heated up, like in your hands. So what I do is I just lather it on, always pull it down my neck. I will use a brush on my neck later. But if you just get this going in your skin with your fingers, then you can go in and blend it with your beauty blender. So yeah, now I'll use my beauty blender. I think the secret to having even skin is you just gotta blend, blend, blend. Okay, one of my biggest hacks. People always ask me how I keep my skin um, even from my face to my neck. Well, there is no big secret. I just pull my foundation down. So I do use a brush to pull it down, blend from the bottom of your cheekbone down your neck. I'm just gonna come up here in the hairline with this brush. I love this brush. It's from Sephora. It's the number 47 favorite foundation brush. Yeah, I like to just use my foundation um, on my eyelids to put my eyelids for the shadow. And then I'll use, um, sometimes I'll use concealer to put my um, eyelids if I'm wanting a look to last all day and through the night. I will go back with my Lara Mercier powder, the press powder. Um, and I will just put it on my eyelids to set the eyelids so that my eyeshadow stays in place. But Trixie's eyeshadows are really pigmented and they don't move. I mean, I think they were designed for drag, but the modern everyday woman appreciates it because our eyeshadow stays on all day. The spring colors are to die for. I've been um, having so much fun. I love using the bartender all over the lid. And then I do love this. I haven't played as much with this palette, but I do love the Chalk It Up. Um, I will start with this, the Chalk It Up. Chalk It Up. So I like to use the Chalk It Up. I pull it up into the brow and use it as a highlighter under my brow as well. Just, you can see it, like how much brighter my eyes already look. Um, I love this uh, bartender. I have same brush, I'm just draw, I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid. For me, eyeshadow, I have, um, I have a lot of canvas to work with. I have deep set eyes and big eyelids, I've been told. 
which I guess for makeup is a good thing. So I can get away with just like a quick all over single color. And you can pull it all up, we'll blend it in later. With a smaller brush, I'm using the Spirit Fingers. The Spirit Fingers in the middle of the eye to give it a little pop of light and um, contrast. I'll show you the difference. I don't know if you can see how much that just brightens up and pops the eye. I have green eyes, so I love using pinks and mauves and purples. So this is one of my hacks. Like when I get my makeup done by my makeup artist, they spend a lot of time blending, 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 and that's how we get those mega uh, beautiful glam looks. But let's be real, I have about 10 minutes before I have to go drive carpool. So I just throw on the colors and I use this MAC brush that I have owned. I have owned this MAC brush for 15 years. It is number 224. And this is the mom driving carpool hack of all hacks because I just throw on all my colors and you can just come through and blend them all together. And voila, it looks like I've been sitting in the glam chair blending for hours. But what did I spend, like two seconds? Occasionally, if I'm feeling fun and flirty, I'll add like a pop of glitter and I'm loving the game face from this palette. So I'll just put a little bit on my ring finger and just pop it into the corner right here. Just for a little added sass and fun. Makes it look like I tried out a lot harder than I am. <laughs> but this is what we want. We want the hacks, right? <laughs> My favorite eyeliner is Costa Rica. Costa Rica? Costa Rica? I don't know. I'm not very good with my own language, but from MAC, it's a nice warm brown. I just put it in my waterline. The first time you do this, you feel like scared. You're gonna poke your eye out, but I promise you, it just is that perfect little pop. Next, I do my mascara. I am like crazy about mascara. Like I, I blend two different mascaras together. So I start with my Chanel volume. It's just their volume number 10. I don't know what else it's called, just the Chanel volume. But I love this formula so much. I've been using it for years. Um, and I layer my mascara. So I start with my Chanel because the formula, I just don't, it's just like the best non flaking. It is expensive, but it lasts forever. And seriously, you gotta get it in the base. That's where you're gonna want the most volume so that your lashes don't clump together. Then I go with my Benefit Roller Lash, which I started using because it, it's really good for the bottom lashes because it's a small bristle. But one day I just decided to have fun with it and went over my eyelashes and watch this. It, when you layer it, something with the Chanel formula and this bristle, it just makes my eyelashes look like I have on strips. Every time I do this, my friends ask me if I have on strips, and I don't. Boom. Now we really gotta go, we're in a hurry, but I have to conceal because I got like two hours of sleep last night, and I don't know who, how this trend started or why, but I started doing it where Instead of going all the way under your eye, you just go in the corners and then create a wing. Don't know who started it, but it is brilliant. And I do a little bit on the tip of my nose and my chin, just because I get red there, and then a little extra on my scar from my chemical burn. Um, I am using the, uh, who is this guy? Giorgio Armani. <laughs> I like to blend my cleanser. My, what are we doing? We're concealing our under eye. I like to use my finger because that skin is so delicate. And another just a pro tip that I picked up along the way is to blend it in with my finger. And then you'll use your concealer brush to just get into the crepey part of the skin. At a certain age, I started realizing that my under eye skin is changing. And I don't mean to sound dramatic, but I cry myself to sleep at night because of it. 
it just brightens up the under eye. If my nails are too long or if it's just not, my finger can't get in there, I will use a small concealer brush. Again, this one's from Sephora, it's number 45. It helps me get right up in there. So most days I don't use powder because again, I like to look wet. I mean, extra glowy and dewy. So I like to use my Lara Mercier. And they call it baking, but I still don't understand why. I, I, I bake it for a second, and then I go back in and blend. <laughs> it's drag started. Drag started the baking? Mm -hmm. That's why I love it. Why is it baking? It's because you're um, putting the powder onto the wet, usually cream concealer. Yeah. So then the heat from your body and your face um, bakes the concealer and the powder together to give it that nice heat. That makes so much sense, Jerwin. Thank you. If you can hear Jerwin. That's why they call it beating your face, too. Because you're. Because I'm beating, beating it. Your face. I always just thought they were saying it because it's dirty. <laughs> it sounds dirty. <laughs> No, but it's like cooking. We are. We're, we're putting together a recipe. Okay. I love my NYX, my NYX eyebrow pencil. I use the Ash. Nothing dr too dramatic. I just fill in my little spots that need extra help. My eyebrows are actually naturally very blonde, but I pinch them every four weeks. The Benefit 24-hour brow setter. I really like it. It's super goopy. Um, but I like to just scrape off a little bit on the edge. I like it because it has this flat and the curved, and the flat just works really well for my eyebrows. So I can comb them up and give them that like laminated look. The hula for me is just a very, um, it's the perfect level of bronze for my skin tone. You want to make a C shape like this, contour. I'm not one of those contour goddesses. I don't, I've never learned how to contour. I just throw on bronzer. I do the pucker. Pop my cheekbones and then always want to give your chin a nice little contour and chisel as well. And then I'll use, I'll actually just squeeze my brush together like this for my nose. Because I, I'm a fan of being able to use tools for multiple things. Now my favorite, um, these blushes and highlighter by Trixie Cosmetics are my favorite. As you can see, I mix both of these together a lot. But today I'm gonna do the plush bunny. It just is will work really well with the Trixie eyeshadow that I used. I start up here. And I love this MAC brush. This is another blush brush that I've had for over a decade. You can't even see what number it is because I've had it for so long. And then we are gonna highlight, we're gonna go with MAC, the soft and gentle. It's just a nice light shimmer. I just follow where I did my bronzing and blush, just right above it on the cheekbone so that when the light hits, you just get a little shimmer. At my friends is a quick, quick, quick um, makeup routine. Now, I've got to spray myself and I really do have to go drive carpool. The MAC Fix It is what I'm using right now. Another one of my queens, my favorite divas, Rena Beauty. Um, she just sent me her new lip plumpers. They're amazing. I love them. Today I'm gonna use this one. And this one's attention seeker, how perfect. So I'm just gonna pop on some gloss. Yeah, but thank you for following along for a quick um, 10 minute glam session with me. These are a few of my favorite beauty products. Um, don't forget to turn on your notifications and subscribe. Love you. Teeth and stuff.